On a frequent basis, people ask me, where do my silver lines come from? I have over 100 million silver lines. My short answer is always, fly planes. And then I remember the long answer, bombers. Bombers in arcade. And I was good at it. I was really, really good at it. I lost this art to a certain degree. It would take me weeks to get to the same skill level as I once had. In particular the year 2s and especially my beloved Dota 17s fitted the meta perfectly. And again, I know what to do. However, now it's time to move on, isn't it? Today's video is sponsored by the free Eagles app for War Thunder. Download the app in the video description below and use the code shown on screen to get 10 golden Eagles right now. Welcome back to War Thunder and welcome aboard the American Captured Premium Focke Wolf 190A8. I was researching the P51H and a lot of the new planes, especially the Corsairs in this patch. And I want to do it with my premium planes, getting back into them, getting the value out of them and really do the research myself. But also I wanted to just simply, you know, get back in the fucking wolves. Don't quote me on this, but well, quote me on this, but lately I get the feeling for the fucking wolves more and more. It's difficult. And you still get ruffle stunned by Italians and Germans, especially with the buffed B409 flight models. However, there is something about the A8. There is just something about it. And it's not just the yeah slow climb rate in comparison. It's not just the massive firepower and even Germans getting into head-ons and losing against this. There is just this this feeling about it. I don't know. Maybe it's just the <laughs> paint job. It's red like a Yak3P. Maybe that's it. And as you could see in the beginning, I showed you the loading screen, so to speak, and also the screen before you go into battle. And you saw that there is a 500% silver line booster activated. Adding up all the rewards and we get to over three and a half thousand percent of silver line percentage income. That is massive. And usually that means you just need to do one or two kills. Now, to put this game into perspective, I had some not so successful games before that. I had more successful games without boosters before that. But it was ultimately this game where I have to say, this is the mood that I get in when I play for a long time. Not back in my arcade days as you saw in the intro, which uh, I hope you enjoyed. It is just, um, it's just simply the fact that you get a certain routine into your playstyle and the thinking process is very important. Now I actually could go also into the replay and just, um, you know, give you a different point of view. But it's really the, not live commentary, but the post commentary when you know what's going to happen, but also when you explain how it came to that, I think is important for especially new players to find themselves into the right situations in Air RB in particular, especially when they switch over from arcade. Now, every plane is a little bit different in its role compared to arcade where it stands in RB. It also is a very big interaction with the rest of the team. Certainly American teams have a lot of um, lack of teamwork, whereas the German teams and also to a certain degree the Italians have really perfectioned it. But I have to say, as I predicted in this patch, it feels different right now and it seems like the sides have changed because a lot of the more experienced players or a more of the yeah older players so to speak with more experience and more teamwork in mind well they want to also play the new planes the new p51h and the new courses maybe even the b26 or a26 invader the new one tech 3 version and 
Yeah, it, it's a shift of player base that you really feel in the outcome of the match. There is more climbing involved. There is more not going into head-ons involved with Americans lately. And suddenly they win more and more battles versus the Germans actually in a very comfortable way. Now here I side climbed a little bit more than it is the usual climbing path of the uh, allies. And I see that this, P this P38 actually stalled himself out. He's auto squatted with me. And I see that this BF109 actually wants to attack him. So I want to help out my P38. Not just as I intend to help him really out in terms of letting him survive, but I also get a relatively easy kill. He didn't see me coming. So the enemy is dead. My P38 is alive. I have a kill. And a big reward, a bit of long range spraying here against the P409G and we both actually do a little bit of long range spraying and we roll out of the way. This felt like this guy is a rather experienced player or he just did the right move at the right time because he saw it in a video. Both ends in the same fashion, so here he just dives away. And now I do something that I often do in my Spitfires. I don't pursue it. But he turns around and then I, well, I just follow him. I have to say, usually in a Spitfire, I just would uh, climb back and engage somebody else at my altitude and let the BF 109s and Focke Wolves run. And here happens something with the new flight model. I did not expect him to turn around that quickly. However, the head on, well, I was greedy, I went into a head-on, I got away with it, the B409 is dead. Two kills, lots of income, and already the 500% silver line booster has practically done its job. I wanted to climb back to altitude, but then I saw a B409, another one, also coming at me. So there is kind of a very important observation here. First of all, the P38 always was in my vicinity and I was in his vicinity. Uh, it was auto squatted, but still, you know, he, he got the right idea. And also the P409 came at us one at a time. And they had a bit of misfortune, bad aim and did the wrong decisions, which ultimately led to a, well, overall three versus two coming out to a, to me being still alive. Sadly, the P-38, well, actually died in the head-on. I tried to snipe a few easy, cheap ground kills um, here with my 13 millimeters. That's a great thing about German planes. They also have machine guns aside from the cannons. So you, can, uh, so you don't have to waste the precious cannon ammunition on cheap kills. And you saw the reward. I think it was over 2,800 silver lines shown in-game reward. Yeah, that boosts. That boosts your civil line income overall also a little bit because also you have this ground pounding um, yeah part in your income overall when it comes to the game results or the post battle results but don't quote but but don't get me wrong here first the plane kills then the ground kills and again we have here a problem with the focke wolf uh, 190 a8 together with a lot of the a series they're not the best climbers. So through the fighting, I went to low altitude and now I just want to strafe a few uh, ground units. And my German 13 millimeters, well, they are not optimally equipped for them. They have the AIA belt for it. That's not the optimal um, belt versus ground units. Uh, the stealth belt would be, I guess, better. But overall, the 13 millimeters are not that well convincing in an air versus air combat so I see a lot of planes coming in and I still climb I still climb I want to get a bit more altitude every hundred meters that you get under your wings in a German fighter actually counts or in your fighter that's based off a German plane or a captured plane whatever and I see another focke wolf A8 and I do a long spray I have the ammunition and I get my third kill easy like that again i well just interrupted a um 
a fight between an ally and an enemy. Here I tried out if I actually could damage light pillboxes with the 13mm. Well, with the uh, AAA belt, the answer is no. Yeah. <laughs> um, I'm just derping around. After those three kills, I thought to myself, well, that's it. That's it. And I see somebody coming from behind. I turn around and he's also engaged with a P51. I really don't think that he can survive this, especially since there is a Spitfire above him and of course they are also kind of in pursuit. I still follow him if my allies, well, don't get him, but ultimately they will catch him. A P-409 is coming from above. I try to warn my P-51 with a text message, but the P-109 still misses or doesn't kill him at first sight. And he zooms up. The problem is there is somebody above him. And again, there is another BF-109 coming at us one at a time. Guys, don't do this. Look at this. There are four enemy planes in a furball versus one. Of course, the BF-109 gets killed by the Spitfire. But then it's still four planes versus one. And even if you have altitude advantage and speed advantage and can execute uh, boom and zoom attacks well let me just tell you this that was bad shooting by the way <laughs> it doesn't matter how many attacks you run eventually somebody can just um, go out of your attack way turn on to you get a lucky shot wins the stall fight or um, just baits you into a energy wasting maneuver. A one versus many is always difficult, always, regardless in which plane you are. It's always very difficult to get um, the kill on one or two if they are flying defensively. And again, I was really, really greedy. That might have been kind of a kill steal, but when I have a big booster, well, I see no mercy. In a normal battle when I'm just playing for RP or to get some nice footage for a compilation or whatnot, it really doesn't matter that much. Um, then I let the kills to my, to my teams. But when I have a big booster, I want to see what can I get out of it. Now in the middle part of the video after the first two kills, I was like, um, doesn't really matter that much, I get my income. But now also notice that all the awards coming in are also affected by the 500% booster. And now it's time to have a good look at the post battle results. So I got 4 air kills, 6 uh, cheap ground units and I got not just 14,777 vehicle research points and nearly half a million silver lines. And the next thing is, that's nearly pure profit. Because remember, yes, you can earn the same amount of silver lines in many battles in a consecutive order, but then there are repair costs if you get shut down, also more time investment. This is nearly pure profit of nearly half a million silver line. And that's it for me today. I hope you enjoyed the video. I hope you enjoyed the intro. Let me know in the comment section what you think about ally teams and German teams lately. What do you think how the patch um, well changed the meta a little bit especially with the planes the p51s in particular what are your experience in it because i have not flown it yet let me know in the comment section and again that's it for me so thanks for watching thanks for listening please give this video a like if it did subscribe if you want to see more and we'll see each other in the skies and on the battlefields of war thunder